So here we have the Proxmark 3, and this is the standard low-frequency Proxmark antenna. Uh, works great with cards and flat, uh, you know, tags, key fobs, things like that, but not so good with the cylindrical X series. So our XEM tag, you know, <clears throat> you try to get a good read with it, and it just, it's very difficult. In fact, a, an orientation that's, you know, vertical, perpendicular to it, and basically right in the center of that, uh, center hole that will get a, a consistent read, but that's quite difficult to do when it's in your hand. So um, we're look, looking at different antenna shapes, uh, cylindrical antenna shapes. So this is a potted uh, antenna, and this is our X LED. It's a, a little X series with uh, 125 kilohertz tuned coil and an LED. So you can see as the antenna gets closer, we have a good couple, and there's plenty of power available. So that is not the case with this antenna. Uh, but uh, anyway, you can see that uh, it's it's much more effective at coupling with with the tags, and so you can place this antenna uh, on your hand and get a good couple, and not have to worry about um, read uh, or particularly write corruption. So writing to the XEM, uh, if you have a bad coupling, it can uh, cause corruption in the in the data that's being sent uh, or rather received by the tag. So that could cause all kinds of problems, including uh, misconfigurations. Um, password setting uh, with random corrupt data, uh, all kinds of bad things. So uh, getting a good couple uh, with your X-Series tag and the Proxmark is critical.